The cent- Doctor Who, The Sensories, Episode 1, Strangers in Space, TARDIS. Ian, perhaps we've landed on top of something. Doctor, yes. Barbara, or inside something. Doctor, hmm, this means, this says everything has stopped but the ship. Susan, what do you mean, Barbara, inside something? Ian, perhaps that's why we appear to be moving. Doctor, try the scanner. Do- try the scanner, Doctor. Doctor, covered with static. Let's try it again, Susan. Screen is just a streak of static. Ian, that could be caused by a suppressed motor. Doctor, yes, or magnetic field. Susan, shall we go outside, Grandfather? Doctor, no. I shan't be happy to have solved this little mystery. Doctor, I don't know why we ever bother to leave the ship. Doctor, you're still, you're still thinking about the experiences you had with the Aztecs. Barbara, no, I've got over that now. Ian, there's one thing about it, Doctor. We certainly different from when we started out with you. Susan, that's funny. Grandfather and I were talking about how you, about that just before you came in. How you both changed. Barbara, well, we've all changed. Susan, haven't I? Do- Barbara, yes. Doctor, yes. I all started out as a mild coral sea in a junkyard, and now it's turned out to be quite, quite a great spirit of adventure. Don't you think? Ian, yes. We've had some pretty rough times. Even if, even that doesn't stop us. It's a wonderful thing, this ship of yours, Doctor. Taking us back to prehistoric times, the Daleks, Susan, Marco Polo, Marinus, Barbara, and the Aztecs, Doctor. Yes, an extraordinary quarrel, quarrel I had with the English king, Henry VIII. You know, he threw a parson's nose at me. Barbara, what did you do? Doctor, threw it back, of course. Take them to the tower, he said. That's why I did it. Barbara, why? Susan, Tardy was inside the tower. Doctor, of course, it was long before you appeared on the scene. However, now, let's get back to this little problem. Open the door, Susan. In. Have you checked everything, Doctor? Doctor, yes. Yes, plenty of fresh air. Temperature normal. Barbara, oh, just the unknown then. <coughs> Doctor, precisely. Control room. They walk out into a room with people in uniform, sitting in chairs very still. Ian, you were right. You are right, Barbara. We've landed in something. Doctor, it's a spaceship. Close the door, Susan. Let us be careful. There's some kind of cafe for you here. Ian takes the pulse of one man who's intact, flexible, but Ian, dead. Susan, there's, there, this one's a girl, Barbara. I'm afraid she's the same. What could have happened? I can't see a wound or anything. Ian, suffocation, Doctor? Doctor, I never make the other guesses, my friend. But certainly that's one answer. Oh dear, oh dear, dear, what a tragedy you know. She was only a few years older than Susan. Susan, grandfather. Let's go back to the TARDIS. Doctor, why? Susan, I don't know. I've got a feeling about this. Barbara, yes, I can sense something too. Ian, you mean that whatever it was killed, killed them could kill us? Doctor Chesterton, you have noticed, have you noticed anything about your watch, this watch? Mans, neither of them were working. They're non-winding type. A movement of the wrist recharges the spring inside of for, for 24 hours. Ian, yes. They both stopped about three o'clock. Doctor, yes. I suppose we say that they all just stopped. Now what would me- Now that would mean that the last movement of wrist would be at least 24 hours ago. Susan, Grandfather, he's still warm. Doctor, then they all, they, then they all, oh, they only just died. Doctor, it doesn't make, it doesn't make sense, does it? But the facts are all here. I think we should be wise if we return to the ship. Left these people. There's nothing we can do for them. Do- Barbara. No, we can't even bury them. Doctor, come along. Open the door, Susan. Man groans and sunks forward over his desk. He and his heart have stopped beating, Doctor. He, is de- he has died. He was dead. Madeline, something. Ian, what do you want? Yes, Madeline, over here. Ian, where? What are you what? There. Madeleine, behind you. Ian, where? Here? Madeleine, no, on the left. Ian, 
What's this? Metal box. Madeline. Yes, that. Ian gives it to him, and a heartbeat starts up. Madeline. Carol places the, that this against Carol's chest. Barbara, I'm sorry. Carol's dead. Madeline, please do as I ask. The heartbeat sound. And then she wakes up. Ian, you are both dead, grandfather. Susan, grandfather. What was the, in the, in that box, Madeline? It's a heart resuscitator. You, when you found us, we were long, in very long sleep. We weren't dead. My name is Madeline. This is Carol Richmond, my co-astronaut doctor. Tell me, are you from Earth, Madeline? Yes, kept Barbara. So are we. How is it looking, Carol? The Earth, do you mean? Barbara, yes. Carol, still too much air traffic. Ian, you got you got off the road, off the roads, did you, they? Madeline, you might say that, yes. But Ian, Barbara and I, we came, we come from London. Tell me, Big Ben is still in time. Madeline, what century do you come from? The 21st, perhaps. Barbara, no, the 20th. But Madeline, I see... Carol, what's Big Ben? Barbara, well, it's a clock near Westminster Abbey. Madeline, yes, you see, the whole lower half of England is now called Central City now. It isn't London for 400 years. We come from the 28th century. Carol, Captain Madeline, these people must leave immediately. Madeline, yes, you have, you will have to. Ian, but there's so many things we want to know, Madeline. There's only danger here for you. You must go, Barbara. Danger? What sort of danger? Madeline, it's better that you don't know what happened to us. Barbara, but we might be able to help you. Doctor, no, no, Barbara. I learned not, not to meddle in other people's affairs years ago. He laughs. Now, now, don't be absurd. There's an ounce of currency in me, my dear boy. Tell me, why are you in danger? Madeline, very well. I'll try to explain. Out there in a pl- is a planet called S- Simsphere. Creatures of the sensories. They always, they have have always prevented us from leaving this area of space. Doctor, you mean they have some kind of power over your craft? Matter exactly. But it's not that simple. They not only control our craft, but they have some influence over us as well. Doctor, hypnosis? Do you mean? Matter, no, I do not mean hypnosis. Doctor, well, then what? Matter, somehow they have have some control of all over our brains hostile these centuries but in the strangest way possible way they don't they don't let us leave this area of space yet they won't attempt to kill us susan what do you mean when we found you carol the same thing that's happened many times has happened many times before the centuries put us into deep sleep that gives the appearance of death and yet they never made any art of actual effort to destroy us Madeline, far from it you both have hey, hey, we very, have very hazy recollections of them returning from time to time to our ship who actually feed us Ian doesn't add up at all Carol this is why you must leave at once Madeline yes the sentries they try to prevent you from leaving a in hand holds the device over the TARDIS lock Barbara I can smell something burning Susan so can I Madeline you mustn't delay you any longer Ian, I claim to agree with him, Doctor, but surely there's something we can do for you. Madeline, no, nobody can help us. Susan, Grandfather, can't we take them back with us? Madeline, we, you, we cannot leave this ship. Carol, you see, there's John to think of too. But Doctor John, Ian, Barbara, Ian. Isn't Ian, there's something burning. Ian, yes, I think you're right, Madeline. You wouldn't have anything snorting, would you? Ian. Madeline, no, that's not possible. Amid smoke, the alien hand withdraws the Tyler's lock mechanism from the door. Barbara, it seems to be coming from over there. Doctor, you have an additional crew, I take it? Carol, yes, Madeline. Doctor, you must go, leave us, Doctor. Well, it seems that to me there's nothing left I can do. Goodbye, my friend. Bye-bye. My child, come along, Susan. Susan, goodbye. Barbara, it's stronger over here, Doctor. Doctor, oh, perhaps it's coming from inside the TARDIS. Susan, Grandfather, Doctor, good gracious, they've taken the lock. Susan, it's not much, it's it's not so much the lock, it's the opening mechanism. The door's permanently clocked. Ian, permanently? There must be some way of getting in. What can we do, Doctor? Break down the door, Doctor. I disturb the field dimensions inside the TARDIS. We dare not, we have been effectively shut out. 
Barbara, the centuries. Doctor, who else? Susan, what do they want with us? Doctor, I don't know. I, I, and why have they kept those other two in captivity? Hmm? The shakes, ship shakes. Carol, the centuries. Get back, get away, Ian. Must get up the other end. Doctor, what's happening, my friend? Can't the, you control the ship? Madeline, I'm powerless. Centuries are stronger than I am. Doctor, where is your parallel thrust? Madeline, here, there. Doctor, right, there's lots of interested in check velocity in. It's not even on the unit marker, Doctor. Madeline, don't try and control the spaceship. It's suicide, I tell you, Doctor. Please go away. Ian, the velocity needle's hitting the red, red Doctor. Doctor, right, stabilizers. Madeline, the shot, ship stops shaking. Doctor, ah, at last, at, at last, the ship is rolling about on its axis. Susan, Grandfather, look, we're heading straight for it. Susan, Carol, it's a sense spear. Doctor, where's your deflection rays, Madeleine? Deflection rays, Madeleine. There, the white panel, but it's useless, Doctor. Well, we'll see about that. We'll see about li- that. Reading, please, Carol. Mac 3, breaking 1. Ian, 19 miles to the nearest point of impact. Carol, closing fast. Susan, Barbara, we're going to hit, we're going to hit. Carol, lifting slightly. Madeline, you're on a collision course. Dr. Jet calls Polt now. Ian, velocity still rising. Dr. Jet reverse starboard now. Carol, increasing to Mach 4, heading straight for point of impact. Ian, altitude is still fading. Falling. Carol, Mach 4. Dr. Barbara, see that panel? Check status. Three lights, normal. Barbara, yes. Three lights on. Doctor, boost engines. Forward the thrust. Forward the thrust and lock. The furnace feels the viewer screen. And they veer off to the left. Pattern. Why can't I do it? Later. Doctor, well, my friend, are you feeling better? Madeline, yes, my head's much clearer. Doctor, yes, well, I rather fancy that settled a bit of, that little bit of solution. I know, I think those sentries have found a way to, to, Take control of your minds, Ian. Do you think they are deliberately trying to kill, kill us, Doctor? Doctor, no, no, I don't. I think it was an exercise of fear and power. Carol, yes, but for what, some reason or another, our minds aren't open to them. Doctor, yes, you, you, your, your minds weren't open to them. Yeah, Doctor, yes, and you, and you, yes, and you found a way to resist them. Whereas Madeline here, his power to resist had been taken from him. Madeline, I was afraid, Doctor. You aren't afraid. They, you aren't afraid. They made, they just made you hopeless, Doctor. Yes, they are dangerous and cunning. These people. That's not all. Things are very strange here. You know, they control. They can frighten, and yet they don't attempt to kill you. Furthermore, they feed you and keep you alive. It is, all this is most extraordinary. Ian, yes. Talk about, talking about food, I'll be glad when we eat. How's it coming along? Barbara, all right. Be ready in a minute. Susan, iron rations, duck a low cut. Carol, well, that's the size of our stocks. Absolutely been, absolutely been giving us their own food. Dot Barbara. What about water, Carol? Carol, down there on the right, Barbara. You're right. Where, where find it, Doctor? Tell me about. Tell me, have either you ever met any of these creatures or seen them? Carol, John has. Ian, ah, uh, he's the other member of your crew, isn't he? Madeline, yes. He's our neurologist, Doctor. I like to have a talk with him, Madeline. I'm afraid that's out of the question, Doctor. Oh, why not, Madeline? I'd rather not talk about it. Barbara and Susan walked past the tank marked water to the hatch. Barbara, I suppose she meant that water was through this door. Let's try it. Susan, I don't see any handles on the door. Try this. As a work, and she spots an electric eye and waves her hand in front of it. The hatch opens. Susan, that's funny. Oh, I see. The ray. I must have broken a connection, Barbara. Let's get to that water. I'm dying at first. Susan, yes, so am I corridor. They step through the hatch. Barbara, well, down there on the right, she said. Another hand shuts the hatch behind them. It belongs to a shuffling man with glazed expression. Kevin, the women find a small room. Barbara, I don't think we should be in here. Susan, picking up a book. Hey, this is this is bliss. 
Barbara, I wonder where the water is. Susan, I don't know. Barbara, shh, listen, the shuffling footsteps come closer. Control room. Ian, don't you see John may be able to give us some valuable information? Carol, I told you, you can't see him, Doctor. You're both being rather sensitive. Ian, where are the others? Madeleine rushes to the hatch and tries to open it. Madeleine, we should have warned them. Ian, what is it? What's wrong, Carol? Carol, the door has been locked on the other side quickly. They're in danger. We must go, go it, get, get in on the other end the corridor. Madeleine, this way. There is, this is the other way through. Carol, oh no, it's no use. Ray's been jammed on the other side. Madeleine, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do. Ian, what is it? What's wrong? What's going on inside there? Madeleine, it's no use. It's no use. Bar- Ian, Barbara, Susan. Carol, please. No, no, please, no. Ian, are there sentries in there? Kevin, the shuffling man, comes right up to Barbara and Susan. He steps to one, one side, he falls over. He runs back down the corridor, but the hatch doesn't open for them. A duck in the storeroom instead. Storeroom. Man comes in as a hide behind the filing cabinet. Starts crying and staggers out again without seeing them. Corridor control room. Carol, we must find out about, we must find out about John, Madeleine. He, we've been over this a hundred times before, Carol. Carol. But the other times were different. The sentries made our decisions for us. Madeline, as far as we know, they still do. Carol. But Dr. Nuvers showed us we can resist them. We can. So you feel that makes us weak, that's all. Madeline. And maybe so, but we mustn't go in there. Carol, it's too dangerous. Carol. What, what do you really mean? I said, I can't go in there. You're afraid for me, aren't you? Madeleine, I know what John means to you. Carol, this last time I saw him, didn't even know my name. I must see him. I must find out. Besides, there are the girls. Madeleine, all right. Mad- Ian, Madeleine, you must get the door opened. Madeleine, yes, I have to cut around the lock. Ian, all right, we'll get on, we'll get on with it. Madeleine, I'll get the machine rigged up. Ian, Carol, tell me, what is it that you are both afraid of, of? Carol? John's in there with your friends. He and I were going to get married when we get when we get back to Earth. It said she's attacked him far, far more than Captain Madeleine and me. I had to sit there hopelessly and watch him get worse and worse. Ian, you mean they've taken over his mind? Carol, yes. Ian, what is, what is it? What's it done to him? Carol, you've got to tell me. Carol, he's frightened of strangers. He become he may become violent. Corridor. Barbara and Susan seek out the storage room. They don't see John leaning against the wall. He pushes a lever, le- 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 lever, and then shuffles after them. They cannot open their, any other doors. Just as he thinks he's going to attack them, he falls to his knees. Susan is crying. Jo- John, who are you? You look like my sister. Have you come to help me? Four years. Barbara, are you one of the crew of the spaceship? I want to tell you something. And yourself? Barbara, he's trying to say he's ill. John, yes, ill, Barbara, comforting him. Don't be afraid, we'll take care of you, Susan. What do you think has ha- happened to him, Barbara? Control room. Madeleine is cutting into the door with a sonic device. In, where's the power come from? Madeleine, it's electromagnetics. We should be in a lock to, we should be to the locks very soon. In, you say you haven't seen John for months. Carol, you dangerous once the sensory's led got to his brain. Doctor, can't you go any fast go faster? Susan there, Madeline. It won't be long now. There's a noise. Madeline stops. Doctor. What is it now? What is it? Get on with the job, please, Madeline. Listen, don't you hear? I thought there was something else. Ian, you mean the high pitched wine? Is it is it is it that it? Madeline, sentries. Carol, it must be near. The noise is called by machines to carry, they carry them through space. Madeline, Carol, get back to your instruments, Doctor. Would you take the control seat, Doctor? Awful, anything, but there's awful waiting. Ian, what about Barbara and Susan? Madeline, there's no time now. Look for the glowing lights on the move about that ship. Ian, how will they attack us? Madeline, they won't. Not in a normal way. Ian, then how can we be defend ourselves, Madeleine? You'll find us out soon enough. Look here, out there. They are there. They are. See them moving? Yeah, yes, but they look miles away, Madeleine. It won't take them long to get here. 
Ian, yeah, how long do you think it'll take them, Doctor? Doctor, I don't know. They must be make themselves made the journey before. Yeah, that they were here before. Remember, they took away the lock mechanism for my ship. Ian, yeah, yes, probably took it back to their own planet, Doctor. Yes, and now they're coming back with what orders to take them um, over our minds, huh? or kill us, control C- corridor, Barbara. Do you hear that? Susan, it's coming from outside. Barbara, no, you need a rest. There's something wrong. John, I'll protect you, Barbara. Yes, all right. You'll protect us, control room. Ian, would it, would it be a good idea to move? Madeline, where to? We already know. We can't leave this area of space. Ian, all the same, I think. Madeline, anyway, out of the way. We're not going to be destroyed. Her sentries attended that. We would have been done, they would have done so long ago. Ian, if that collision course was your idea of a joke, I hate to be one of your their enemies. Carol, they weren't really trying to crash us. They were just trying to play this game of nerves, Doctor. What's that noise, Madeline? Yes, we always hear that. Carol, interference, now it's on all our scans, Madeline. Now remember, all of you, no violence the list of centuries felt it first. Ian, why no violence? Surely... We've got the right to protect ourselves, Doctor. My dear Tristan, in our minds they take they take over us. You know, it's our minds they take over. So you must presume that the brain is all important. Now let our, your, our let now let our intelligence be our defence and attack. It does it goes quite Carol. I sense them around us now, Madeline. Ah oh, shh Ian, Doctor Doctor, a bulbous head a humanoid. Gazing at them from the outside of the ship, 